Base Mage, one of the best Jigglypuffs in the world, went to Summit. He did extremely well with such a whack, garbage kind of character. Playing Puff at this level is very difficult, but somehow he did it. He got top eight, beat some pretty notable players, and had some crazy close sets with ones that he didn't beat. And uh, we're gonna figure out why and how. We're going to be watching his two victories in the main bracket. First off versus Lavish, second off versus Chag. Uh, I gotta imagine, right on paper, Krom wins this matchup. He's got a sword and he can kill Jigglypuff very early. He just has to not get cheesed, which is very hard to do against Puff. I will say that uh, if you got to roll a character to fight as Jigglypuff, Krom is a pretty good one. God, the fact that this is guaranteed. Boom, boom. That fourth throw of Jigglypuff, it's like, it's the stock decider. If you get fourth thrown, you might just die if you don't have a good recovery. Or if you directional air dodge off stage and then get let back for free, you know? Thank you for not proving my point base, man. Also void commentary. Mwah, mwah. Oh, he's dead. He's absolutely dead. Base mage. Hello. Throw out an air. Excuse me? Ah. Uh, oh, he died. Okay. He didn't die. I, I couldn't remember. I was like, does he die here? I didn't think he did, but yeah. There's the tech away meme. We kept talking about this. Jigglypuff can't chase you on the ground if you tech away. Do not tech in. You will die. Every time. Yeah, there's no way out there. What do you, you can get uppy there maybe, but it's it's rough. How do you get around that? Cause you have to jump. You're not coming back if you can't jump. I know uh I know Lavish makes an adjustment later in the set to uh instead of recovering where he knows he's going to die, he just kills base man. Poor Lavish, dude. His bracket was so rough, dude. I had so much faith in him, and then he just only played the floaty weird, the floaty weird characters. He played Elegant and T. He took a game from uh, Spargo, the eventual winner of the tournament. So like, poor, poor Big. Lavish, dude. And the dare loops, fair jab, jab. I'm just forward air, okay. I thought I'd get jab, jab, weak, fair, uh, fourth throw or something. What a parry. Oh, he could have. He could have uh, jab blocked. He's missing all these. He's trying to A land, I'm pretty sure. That's dead. That was ugly because, like, he gets knocked down. He does not get hit by the get up attack because he uh, does get up, and then he up Bs. I guess because he thought it would be the fastest thing to sort of get him out of that situation is just turn around and just, you know. I don't know what else he could have done because you're getting grabbed, but tough. Yeah. This dude tried to down tilt to Jigglypuff. That's crazy. He wants to set up for a tech scenario, but Jigs is so floaty, she doesn't even have to DI the up tilt, uh, the down tilt properly to not even have to tech. It's crazy. He tech chase it. He was charging a smash attack. Jigglypuff's so light, she didn't even go there. Ooh, not another taunt. <laughs> I thought he went for up for back here there instead of up here. He's trying to a land all these, which is why he's missing so many techs. Ooh, god, that's so good. Douche, how did that even set up into that? How low was his shield? I didn't think it was that low. Ah, forward air. Okay, yeah, forward air into... Yeah, 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 yeah. Omega lol. I feel like I never see that. Because <laughs> if the fair hit, I mean, obviously, like, it, it was... It would have hit the shield. But then Lavish could have, like, upbeat or up air to something out of shield, and then the shield would have recovered. Whereas this, it didn't give him time. So that was really good by a basement. The conditioning there was crazy. So cringe. <laughs> the necklace, his outfit's great. I know there's a video about base mage, but Lavish's outfit's great. The Smashville incident. Oh no, he taunted. Oh no. Bruh. Oh no. Hey, he escaped though. He didn't die there. He just dies here. Listen, okay, the taunt, he's been taunting the whole time, it's fine. It's not taunting it, but it's fine. 
Yeah, if I am Krom and I'm at fourth throw cheese percent, I am not shielding at the ledge. It's not. I'm buffering up B, or I'm buffering leg jab. Forward thrown. He has these because he wants to stock trade, even though he's a stock down. This is a Twitch clip. He didn't jump. It's not like he lost his jump because he got grabbed here. So it's not like he got hit out of his jump. That's why I said I'm so confused there. I was like, he jumps. The only thing he got hit by was throw. And you're dead. You're just you're hoping that he runs into it, but you're just dead there. Not a smart move. Just a bad miscalculation. Four throw. GG's. That is that is awful. And then pound forward throw, you're dead again, I think, right? That's why you do the down air from last game. It didn't work before, but like weird. Oh no, not again. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, no more taunting. Forty-six second game. Don't go off stage. Poor Crom, dude. Yeah, you can get more swingy on Puff when she's coming off stage versus you. Dude, keep her on her toes. Don't let her get that free shit on you. You literally have a sword. You know? And get <laughs> Damn it. Still didn't die? 118 is pretty heavy for Puff. Like, pretty long. I ain't missing another attack. Down air? So good. Oh, what? Fastball for no reason? Confused? Good air dodge. Oh, God, that forward throw. God, that forward throw. What do you do? God, man. The angle is awful. I love me a good edge guarder. You chat, you know me, or comments, you know me. I love good edge guarding. It's my favorite thing. I watch these matches and I'm like, surely Krom could do something. I don't I don't think he it's like a it's like a 75% chance you die. By the way, he did the thing that he does to people. He teched in. I don't know if Lavish could have gotten... Yeah, he could have gotten there with a forward smash, yeah. Krom always can. He's fast and he could pivot it. But still, <laughs> teching in against anybody is... Uh, it's a sometimes treat. Watch that shit. Yeah, he's out. He's like, you know what? I won't hold shield. You got me. I think that down air was shield poke, which is exactly why he's going for it. Or shield break. Either way. The good ending for base. A lot of rolls coming out from Lavish now. Oh my god. He'd been fishing for the dare the whole time. It's literally like what the top tiers do. Yeah, like, that was really not great. And then, yeah, forward throw. Are you dead? I love those downers in that case, dude. It's so good. Oh, he popped off. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, I'm, I'm lavish too. That's insane. This is the most I got him GG's face. And it's just puffs down air. And yeah, so those are really good downers. That's why he does the downers, because he can space backwards to then make it always go to the right. Like that. So good, dude. Yeah, the base mage, po I'm sorry, the, the lavish posture is also really funny. Whew, what a matchup. But here's a harder one. Base Mage versus Chag. And then we have the Chag set again. You might be you might be hearing my voice in the background. I'm pretty sure I commentated this set, but uh, I'll, I talked about it at the end and I'll talk about it now. Base Mage beat Chag in the pools phase, and then in the, the gauntlet thing, or, or like the, the tiebreaker, Chag just actually kind of destroyed him. So I was like, I feel like there's no way Chag doesn't just win. The results may shock you. Can really quickly, I'm ignoring the panda assignment, Chag, base mage, pools. Because they're set in pools. The last bit of this was insanity. So look, he's nervous. Parry. Read this. Bop! So, still 170. He's winning. And I think if Chag won this, he would have been first seed in this pool or something. Second seed. But yeah, and then, and then this, and then look at that. Like... What an insane... That's so insane. That's crazy. That... Uh, what? But yeah, this is a different set. Same players, different set, because Chaga ended up being in winners and then lost to Spargo. Oh, we definitely banned Smashville. <laughs> no question. Against Base... Hey, cheat code. If you play against Base Mage in tournament, just ban Smashville. Trust me. 
That stage is crazy. I, I, I can't even pretend to know what this matchup is, right? Because I got to imagine that most characters just body pop. But Palutena is like one of those like weirdly exploitable characters, despite being really good. Down air, into forward air, forward air. Okay, air dodge, but good coverage by base mage. Playing this advantage, back air. That move, it hurts to get hit by, dude. It's it's rough. See, and base mage, like, the thing is, in their first couple sets, base mage was really struggling to get good two frames on the teleport. Oh, the shield's almost broken. Um, So I feel like he's more so trying to condition for, like, I'm going to try to let try, try to tech and then, like, kind of cover rolls or, like, other ledge options that he's been doing. Beautiful in there. And he's, he's not even trying to get the two frames. He's just trying to... See if he goes high, hit, like condition him to like do specific teleports maybe that he can hit on later, and then uh, otherwise just like be slow. Oh, that almost worked. Back throw, you're dead. This bitch is animated, bro. I guess you have to be to play a character like this. You gotta really love it. Every time the character gets hit, you feel it in your soul. Your heart hurts for the character. No, not Jigglypuff. Basically, just pissed because he could have got the kill on the second uh, explosive flame. The heat space over the dash attack. Punish, kind of Wario esque. Right? Wow. Okay. Dash attack. Boom. Close it out, man. I can't believe that it's still comboing. Oh, what another down air? Are you dead? Oh no, you have a jump. Okay. Yeah. How did that not catch? Oh, did you guys know, this is an unfun fact, by the way, so cover your ears for all of the viewers who dislike Palutena. Palutena players have recently discovered that you can, uh, you can teleport to the ledge without ever getting two-framed. For some reason, there is a way or angle that you can teleport, which you cannot get two-framed, which is crazy because typically teleport characters are a lot easier to two-frame, if I'm correct. But, like, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to hit. But the point is, that's not okay. Chag's been really good at those angles. That's why I guess he's doing them. I see. Uh, okay, how did he hurt his shield there? Because I, I swear he's doing it from full shield. Ah, back air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So every time he hits your shield, he's thinking about it. He's like, if I just get a pound suit. By the way, another grounded pound. Another one on the floor. That's got to do more. That has to do more shield damage. Oh, another shield break. Dude, he's getting so many shield breaks. He's actually been getting so many shield breaks. It's actually ridiculous, which makes sense because people are scared of the Nair and the forward air and the, that type of stuff. And so it's, it's, it's just really good. <laughs> this dude is just back airing. What is it? The shades of shades of MK Leo? Pause. All right, here we go. What? One back, two back air, three, four back air. Ah, ah, ah. Or is it shades of hungry box? Yeah, did he go under it? Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! That's so tilting. Look at how small she is. Boom. Oh, and what a spot dodge too. He's destroying Chag right now, actually. He's, he's just like in his head. Like, look at that dash tag. Like, Conan was like, oh, it might kill at 130, 140 at the ledge. This is fucking Kalos at 70, at 83. That almost kills. There are times I think it's sick, like when y'all are mid stage and you throw them up. It's that giga brain activity, dude. Why did you land with Nair? And your your primary thing to do is gimp. See, Mars is just saying what I said. He's copying me. You want a big stage that you can gimp on because you don't have to wear. It's like Dreamland in Melee. It's just like Jigglypuff likes this stage because she's gonna kill at any percent. But she's gonna live way longer. But she doesn't get gimped. Oh, that could have been back air. I mean, the Chag, I feel like, really messing up. He's missing up a lot of co combos. And I feel like there, there were a couple, I think, puffs that were just there, like as the, um, the VIPs. But I don't know. I feel like it should be a little bit more obvious what you can and cannot combo on puff. Like, she has a frame four air dodge. Yeah, and even, uh, I feel like the only thing you'd have to worry about is maybe wall jumps, like, giving some characters, like, maybe Falcon a wall jump here is, like, yeah. Oh! Like, oh. Like, okay, yeah, I couldn't fade. let it go. He's just okay. To, he's completely content to just chill. Oh, he, just, he read the air dodge in so hard, but Chag didn't give it to him. He did air dodge to Legend instead. But look at that. Ooh! I thought he was dead. There's no... Oh, that was parry rest. Because this was no jump. 
So there's the jump. So that was that should have been parry on the air rest. Check relies on that dash attack to kill a little too. Oh, yeah. Damn. Nice down throw. Nice dash attack. Again, like went to 104. That's insane. Not even to an aerial, which is what Jigglypuff is supposed to kill with. You die at 100 to death. Oh, that's weird. All right, game five. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, you're dead! Oh, she has a jump, she has a jump, she has a jump, she has a jump, she has a jump. I can't believe you live. Was that a 0 to 72? Uh, uh. The hair dodge read? Yeah, that was 0 to 72. Jesus Christ. He actually probably could have done. So it's this fair. He probably could have fast fell here and then got a weak fair into Nair. That would have been insane. Ah, he took him to Kalos now. <laughs> Oh, I think this is, yeah, Chad gets, he loses this first stock and base mage stays at the high percent for like ever. That was a, he, he was trying to forward her and miss input forward smash. I know this for a fact because base mage comes up and clarifies later on. Yeah, you thought this was your counter pick. No, no, no. All contraire. Don't steal what I said, Charles. Shut up. Yeah, I don't know, like. I don't know why Chag expects this to work all the time. Like, I have to do this too when I play Pika. You have to pay attention to whether someone's in the air or on the ground when you get a drag down, because if they're in the air, they go down, and if they're on the ground, they get popped up because there's nowhere to go down on the ground. And then he, he just does it. He doesn't react, and that's um not great. Like, that's that's something you have to pay attention. Like, you have to pay attention to it. He's always on the ground. Yeah. Anyone in the chat, if you know, please, please, please go ahead and tag all of us. Oh I would God. definitely be interested. In that. Jeez. Oh Dash attack will be your doom, Ed boy. There it is. Oh, spam and dash attack. Air dodging for what? Did you? You had a jump, didn't you? You had a jump, and you said, "Yeah, I have to air." And you like the worst part is like, so he had he. He has the jump here, and if you look at the radar on the top right, he has so much room to back off. Chag wants to kill him right now, and there is no other option besides him to die. Like, that's all how, that's all how Chag is playing, and base mage is just, like, sitting, like, right outside of the range. Like, right outside of the burst range, just waiting for Chag to swing. Like, look at him. Like, you can literally see Chag in the camera just, like, start, like, you know, kind of like what I said in the Spargo thing, but, like, he's losing. <laughs> Jesus, that is he dead? Oh my god, god damn. Yeah, he's, base mage is just good, dude. Chag looks like he's kind of falling apart by this point, right? He's just trying to force dash attacks. He can't hit this bubble. The, uh, the getting caught from air to ground is just ruining him. Oh. There we go, finally. But again, that's a, that's a whole stock down. Like he he like was supposed to be in the lead, but not really because he messed up his combo. And Chag's playing really well right now. Oh, but uh, Puff got the hit. How much can you do when Puff gets the hit? What a dash back by Base Mage. That was so good to recognize that Chag just wants to get a grab. And it was a dash forward, not a dash back. That boy zoning, yes sir. It might've been the other game or something man. He had been doing that same recovery too often, Chag. Every back ear is, is sort of spaced out. Every dash tech is scoped a while in advance. Even dash grabs, he's just standing right outside the range. Looks well, very frustrating. Yeah. Man. It all started with that, uh, with the forward smash. From there, it, the game was locked. You gotta keep your composure, otherwise players like Base Mage and other top players are going to hit you for crumbling all the time. So yeah, good stuff by Base Mage. I loved his play the entire weekend. It was really, really fun to watch. Well done to Base Mage. Seventh at Summit is nothing to sneeze at, especially with 16 of the world's best players there. Hope he continues to perform, and I hope you continue to watch Panda. Subscribe now. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.